Hello, I'm Lisa Bailey and I'm the President and CEO of the Irwindale Chamber of Commerce. Over the next few minutes, we'll be showcasing several advantages to doing business in the city of Irwindale. It's a unique community and we invite you to join us. Welcome to the city of Irwindale, also known as the Garden of Rocks. Here are two of our current chamber members to give an insider's view of the city. Uh, I'm Kevin McDonald, I'm with Foothill Transit. I'm Phil Savastano and I work at Miller Coors. Our second brewery for Miller was in, uh, in Southern California in 1966 and we've been a member ever since. Because I've been on the board for four or five years now I think. Yeah, it's been a good long relationship with the chamber. With great zoning laws, green businesses, an innovative police department, close proximity to transit, diverse recreational opportunities, and reclaimed land, Irwindale truly is business friendly. Irwindale is a great location because we're really centrally located in the San Gabriel Valley. Just the Irwindale location being as freeway close as it is. The 605, the 210, the 10, and the 57. That's got to be worth something. The land availability, you know, to be able to, to find this much space was, was a challenge. We'd been looking for quite a while and until we settled on this location. It's just been ideal. I think it's probably one of the only cities who can boast getting more space for development. You know, most cities don't have that luxury. You know, as these pits get filled up, that's going to be space available for either homes or businesses to, to come in. Irwindale also has the strength of a thriving Chamber of Commerce with 25 years of experience. We've been a member for obviously a long time, and when I found that out, and found out that it's an active chamber, it's a chamber that's uh, actively going out and trying to promote events and trying to get people involved, businesses and people, that's when I said that's, that's something that I want to be a part of. I like to do business with people I know. I want to know I can trust them. I want to know what they're like. I want to know what their work ethics are like. I want to know what their business does. To be a chamber that's strong enough to be able to be receptive to a business that's aggressive at wanting to be involved in the community. You can open a Yellow Page advertising or you can come to a chamber event and meet the businesses themselves. And I would say that as I talk to my counterparts at the other eight Miller Coors breweries, we have one of the strongest and not the strongest. Uh, chamber in the uh, in the organization, and I quite frequently brag about that as I'm uh, as I'm at corporate. Well, the chamber has four main focuses. The first is connecting businesses. The chamber puts on a lot of uh, networking breakfasts, informational luncheons, and networking luncheons. An absolute uh, excellent avenue to be able to understand all the local businesses as well, including the, the individuals in the business. And you just see that activity happening on a pretty much on an everyday basis with the Chamber. As an example, we've had a good relationship with Picasso's Eatery, which is a long-standing member of the Chamber. And so when you go into the restaurant, you'll see uh, a pairing of uh, our product with a, a particular type of food that you can eat. And uh, it's, it's been a very good relationship for our promotional opportunity. One of the ways we promote business is through the website. Our printed business directory is published every two years. Other avenues for promoting our members, we have advertising opportunities, we have sponsorship opportunities. They have individual web pages on our site that include photos, uh, commercials if they choose. So it's a great way for them to reach out beyond just even the local market into the national market. I know when I walk into a business, I definitely support people that are part of the chamber. I look for uh, people that are part of the chamber. The chamber promotes community in a multitude of ways. First off is our online presence, which is our website. Secondly, with the Irwindale Educational Foundation, in the last couple of years, we've averaged giving out over $36,000 a year in scholarships. You know, there's a lot of uh, chamber events that we do attend and do support. And uh, we had the Rose Bowl Parade event where they build the floats right over here. But you, there were uh, a couple hundred people at this event. You know, from a community standpoint, to see that kind of growth and see the amount of people that were there and the people that were working there and that kind of stuff, it was, it was pretty neat to see that kind of outreach. And that's just one example of different events the Chamber has throughout the year that gets people together that may you may not get together otherwise. You know, the Chamber can be the voice of business to the, the city and vice versa. On representing business uh, to government, we go up to Sacramento once a year to meet with legislators up in their turf to talk to them about our issues as well as sending letters and visiting them sometimes locally or having them out to speak to our membership so the membership can talk to them directly. The city has programs available to uh, businesses. We can get that information out to businesses as an additional uh, vehicle that the, that the city can use. The Irwindale Chamber of Commerce has been able to accomplish its successes through a focus on networking, linking local businesses and government, and finding strategic and creative ways to promote businesses, 
and community. So the chamber and the partnership is really around the people um, that support those businesses. So you may know that Millicores is in the community, but uh, by being a member of the chamber, people can get to know that Phil's in the community as well. And that's, uh, that's the power of the chamber that I've seen. Thank you for taking the time to listen to our members as well as myself talk about the city of Irwindale and the benefits of doing business here. We appreciate your time and look forward to meeting you. For more information, please visit www.irwindalechamber.org.